Apple took home the crown for the best laptops of 2020 and 2021, initially due to their new chip, the M1, and more recently the M1 Max and the M1 Pro, as well as the redesign of the MacBook last year. Now arguably this laptop of 2021 will still be the best laptop by the end of 2022. Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Alex here. And if you're easily offended by me talking crap about other manufacturers, then maybe this is not the video for you. All right, CES 2022, that's the Consumer Electronics Show, happens every year, it just ended, and we've seen a few of the laptops coming out this year. There's some really interesting laptops on the way, and of course, tons of gaming options, but a few work-oriented machines as well, you know, for those of us that have kids. By the way, when did mobile gaming become so big? I played some games back in the day, and I gotta say that if I were to drop everything and start gaming again, I would not get a laptop for that. I would get a desktop, save money and have more performance. With all these new laptops coming out and new Intel chips and AMD chips to put inside those laptops, will there be enough of a shift to dethrone the current king or queen of mobile computing, the MacBook Pro? Not only do the 14 and 16 inch MacBooks of last year have some of the most powerful processors in them as of right now, the M1 Pro and the M1 Max, they have extremely long battery life, they're super efficient, don't get hot, and they have the best monitors in the world. And they're also built like a tank. Seriously, these things can be used as a weapon. Uh, for defending yourself, of course. This is a MacBook Air. Look, that's really sharp. Ouch. Let me just say that if I were going to be hit by a laptop, Please don't let it be a MacBook. Throw an ASUS at me, okay? I can take some plastic shattering over my head, no problem. Okay, okay, enough. ASUS makes some decent laptops sometimes. So what is happening in the industry? Well, it looks like 2022 is the year of gimmickry and false courage. Yes, it might be true that Apple steals ideas from innovators like nobody's business, but when they do, they do it really well. Yes, Siri, Touch ID, LCD screen on the keyboard, AKA Touch Bar, and a bunch of other features have all been copied by Apple, and to some extent, improved. But in 2021, Apple actually reined in some of their courage and went back to basics with their MacBooks, which turned out to be a massive success. And it was welcomed, by me at least anyway. Why is it that so many of the gimmicky features are being doubled down on by laptop manufacturers other than Apple, like Dell, Lenovo, and Asus, to name a few. These extra strangely placed screens is a perfect example of this. Who needs this? Did anybody ask for this? I mean, didn't we learn from Apple? It's like the touch bar, but bigger and uglier. And in the case of the Lenovo ThinkBook Gen 3, it even sacrifices where the keyboard is placed. The Dell XPS 13. All right, it's been a really great machine. It's got a long history of being good for work, including software development. But what is up with that hidden touchpad in the 13 Plus that's coming out this year? Is that supposed to make us more productive as we're hunting around for the touchpad trying to find where it is? Well, we'll find out soon enough, I guess. And then there's Asus. If only they put as much energy into making laptops not feel like cheap 3D printed plastic hollow boxes as they did into putting all kinds of fancy lights in the display on top of the lid of the laptops where It'll distract everyone else except for the user using the laptops. Maybe then perhaps we can get somewhere. I know, I know, I'm starting to sound like some old geezer that doesn't know how to have any fun. Get off my lawn, right? Listen, it's good to experiment and to add bells and whistles to your products and perhaps you will even have that breakthrough innovative feature that everyone will love and adopt as their own. But don't just start slapping these on your laptop if the core product is not solid yet. Look at Apple, for example. Without a doubt, their 2015 MacBook Pro has been one of the best laptops already and for many years later. I still have my MacBook Pro 2015 13 inch because I love that machine. It's such a good machine. I don't really use it, but it's a really nice machine. I just kept it because it brings back good memories. Now, once they had a really incredibly solid product, then they decided to experiment a bit in the next few iterations of it. And sure, the touch bar, the butterfly keyboard, and the removal of MagSafe were all bad ideas, but they were small experiments off of a core product that worked really well. And now that they removed the touch bar, added back MagSafe, and went back to the scissor keyboard, guess what? They still have a solid product, just an even more beloved one. And with the new internals, like the new chips, how can anyone make a better machine in the next year or two when they're so distracted with trying to distract us with gimmicks? All right, this is the feeling that I was left with after CES 2022. Just wanted to wrap that up there and I think that we're still gonna have the MacBook Pros as the king and queen for 2022. But until I get my hands on these machines, these new machines that are coming out, I don't know what's gonna happen. 
We'll see. Just wanted to share that with you. Thanks a lot for subscribing to this channel and stay tuned for more developer related tests with the new machines coming out and comparing them to the uh, MacBooks. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you later.